At the opening ceremony, Laos laid out the theme of its chairmanship to help turn the vision of ASEAN as a dynamic community into a reality. But despite the ASEAN economic community formally coming into effect at the beginning of the year, many challenges remain. Narrowing the development gap, trade facilitation, small and medium enterprise development, tourism development, connectivity, transitions from in informal employment to formal employment towards decent work promotion in ASEAN. Laos's foreign minister and prime minister avoided any direct mention of the South China Sea territorial disputes, which involve four ASEAN member countries. The Lao People's Democratic Republic, as chair of ASEAN, will continue its commitment to building a strong and developed ASEAN community and maintain stability. But coming so soon after the so-called arbitration ruling on the South China Sea, the issue was always going to be high on the agenda. Other challenges discussed included terrorism, human trafficking, refugees and developments in the Middle East and Korean Peninsula. While the ASEAN ministers can take a common stand on combating the threat posed by violent extremist groups like the Abu Sayyaf guerrillas from the southern Philippines, and the Islamic State militant group, or ISIL, they still continue to struggle to reach any kind of consensus on the South China Sea issue. Instead, host Laos said the meetings in the days ahead involving China, the US and others will be a chance for the major powers to engage one another and build trust to help ensure peace and stability in the region and the world as a whole. Ryan Meltzer, CCTV, Vientiane. Well, also at this meeting, China stressed its dual-track approach to disputes in the South China Sea. The dual-track approach is entirely consistent with the stipulations in the Declaration on the Conduct of Parties in the South China Sea and the spirits of international law as represented by the UN Charter. It is also entirely consistent with the common desires and interests of the people in the region. China said Brunei, Cambodia and Laos support the dual-track approach. That is to say, disputes should be addressed through dialogue and consultation by countries directly involved. Peace and stability in the South China Sea should be maintained by China and other coastal countries along the South China Sea.